it's Heather with Ideas to Come and I have another DT project for Craft Supplies 1. This is a wall hanging and a bell that I've created and um, I don't know with the bell I wanted to do something different, um, something unique that I haven't seen done before so I wanted to do the bell and I'm probably going to do another one. I did this one real quick. Um, so and I will be having the giveaway drawing here soon because I compiled all the stuff and sorry it's taken me so long guys um, got a lot of stuff going on I got the night job so I'm thrilled about that and um, my mom is not doing well she's 90 years old and she's slowly um, she's not able to eat right now a whole lot so we're just you know comforting her and being with her so um, anyways this is my wall hanging as you saw in the pictures it's kind of slanted here um, only because how I have it um, so that I could take pictures and share with you guys so first of all I'm gonna bring it up closer and this right here is one of Julie's filigrees so pretty it has a butterfly and it has flowers in there and I just basically painted it and there's lots of um, glue that I didn't get off and um, there's some flowers some of Julie's flowers I love these flowers and one of her keys she does have some new products in her shop so you need to head over there there is some gorgeous new stuff and I can't wait to get it um, I put it in an order and I should um, I'm gonna be receiving that order with my DT package so um, I just keep ordering so I have to tell her to um, hold my box because <laughs> I say wait I got more stuff to put in there so um, I keep asking her to hold it here's one of uh, Julie's doilies with a hot one of her heart uh, pieces that uh, she had sent to me some of her rosebuds I love her shabby chic flowers I have another charm right here this is the one with the bird and the fountain and I just um, put some white paint on there I use these bottle caps um, and they spell live and um, because you have to live life to its fullest what I mean what else is there um, one of her beautiful butterfly charms here some vintage images from Luisa Diaz's uh, one of her kits um, KSP kitty scrap post that's from one of her kits one of my butterflies some more of Julie's flower and one of Julie's um, I love the black I had never seen the black ones the gems and she has those in her shop. Another doily, some more doilies with one of her fan charms. And I love, these are like my favorite um, filigrees. So I use those a lot. This trim, Julie also has in her shop. She may not have a whole lot left. <laughs> that is so gorgeous though. And this one, this one I just made I just pulled the green parts off the flowers and I thought oh I'll just make something with that so I just put them together layered them and put one of Julie's flowers in the center I have another vintage image here I love this one and some of Julie's black um, lace here around the image and then I have right here I have one of Julie's um, wheat sprays another doily which I sprayed oh and the background I painted this it's cardboard I painted it then I put um, some napkin um, decoupage some napkin on there and I used my alcohol inks on this so um, that's what I also used on the doily was the alcohol inks this is another one of Julie's filigrees which I um, embossed um, sorry got all kinds of glue still here I embossed it and I put a little gem here on the on the middle for the body then I have also one of Julie's acrylic flowers here and some of her um, shabby chic flowers 
I also have a hole that I have to do. And this is all this ribbon on the edge. This is the white ribbon, and I showed that in some of my videos before. This is the white ribbon, and I just, like I said, painted it with my alcohol inks, my homemade alcohol inks, which I have a video on that. Oh yeah, there's one of her little butterflies right there. I don't even know if I have the light on this, you guys, sorry. One of her little butterflies, I love those butterflies. And I love these flowers too. She has some gorgeous, gorgeous flowers and trims. She has some new trims. She has some awesome new products. So you have to go over and check it out. Um, you'll wanna, you'll wanna get over there because she has some some masks that um, she's selling in the shop now. Oh, gorgeous! And some new birds. Um, on the bill, what I did is I text, used my texture paste, and I don't know if you guys can even see it, but I use, and so it's real bumpy, my texture paste with the sand in it, and then I, of course, Mod Podged a napkin on top, and then I just added all of a bunch of Julie's flowers, these silk ones, I love these, these are so pretty, and these purple ones, and then, of course, my favorite trim on the bottom, as you can see. I didn't do anything to the inside, of course. And it really doesn't really work anymore as a bell, but I put a cameo here. What I did is this little frame was, this was already on the frame, and I just put some of that tissue paper around the frame um, and Mod Podged it on. And then on the top, the top ends right here. I put some of that same white trim, and then I put a bobble up here a real tall bauble and one of Julie's beautiful butterflies and she does have some new butterflies in her shop too so you guys will have to go over and check that out so I will be back soon with uh, another couple of videos I need to do and um, the giveaway one for one and I have a haul that I need to do I hope you guys uh, like this let me know what you think I really enjoy your comments and I will talk to you all soon bye for now